Backs are against the wall, you're, you know, five plus thousand gold behind here. You have no kills on the board if you're Twisted Minds, right? This, you're in a very difficult position as Burmese Ghouls is controlling this entire part of the game. Yeah, and I think that just goes to show that Twisted Minds is just lacking a bit of that early game damage. When they get into the mid game, um, Twisted Minds it's probably going to start popping off a little bit more, but I think that's Burmese Ghouls knows that. They have the Navario, which is about the mid to the late game, and then the Claude, or the carry that is also mid to late game. Cool. Look at that. That is just showing how far ahead Burmese Ghouls is. Absolutely deleted. Morrow for oh the fifth God. time, plus the Lord taken now by the Burmese Ghouls. They're going to go ahead and march in with that and most likely get to the point where they, they, they're so far ahead at this point. It was, take a look at the items, right? That they're gonna be knocking on the base doors here of Twisted Minds. Yeah, and man, Twisted Minds is gonna have to mount up a defense here, but they, they have to play safe, right? Like I was trying to build upon is that the late game is where <laughs> they're gonna have to uh, identify, but Burmese Ghouls is just like, nah, there ain't gonna be no late game. We are gonna take as much as we possibly can from you. Yeah, as we see that kind of unfold from here, once again, Lord making its way in the top side. So Burmese Ghouls, they might try to find like one more turret if they can, whittle it down a little bit yeah. more. But, you know, again, look at look at the positioning for Soxa. He's so far ahead, so confident that he's like, I'll, I can chill behind this tier two turret, completely <laughs> fine, and look for a heavy spin up if I can. Delar can do the same thing with this Lapu Lapu pick, and that's what they're going to work with as they take these buffs as well kind of evening these waves out until that Lord gets to the position. Yeah, and you can kind of see that they're waiting. I like how long the Lord's taking to make it here. They're sinking the lanes to go against Twisted Mind, and Twisted Minds is defending this mid turret with everything they possibly can at this point, but it is still going to fall. Now, with the Lord clashing down, it looks like the lanes are going to be synced, and I think this is where a big play is going to be coming here. Okay, here they go. Shield's gonna go down, Lord less than half health. Still holding it together though, Twisted Minds able to defend wow. for now. They take a couple shots, but hey, that's at least a small step in the right direction for Twisted Minds. Can they continue to keep these at bay? They should be able to clear these waves. So with that being said, G, what is this, where, where's the time that Twisted Minds can get back into this game? Nearly 10,000 gold behind. They're about 8,000 behind, but they've they stayed alive, right? They held on to the base turrets here, and they're not on the board yet. Yeah, holding on to the base turrets is probably the, the biggest key for Twisted Minds, and I love their defense. They kept, they kept Burmese Ghouls always thinking and always attempting to possibly go for a pick. Um, the biggest thing that we are seeing right now is Cuffin is actually starting to do a little bit of damage to some of the the, the squishier heroes on the Burmese Ghouls. Uh, so we got to keep an eye out for that. As long as Cuffin can keep continuously poking, I think it could be a big problem for Burmese Ghouls. So they just got to keep this up. With the gold lead, we've seen teams like this change, just flip the switch, especially if they can keep the three uh, tier three towers uh, in check. If they can keep that in check, they they might be able to you know take a lord steal here mount up that wall push a little bit but i think right now twisted minds might just go for another defense as burmese schools have been very aggressive especially since we see a zero to eight kill uh yeah. kill ratio right now i mean with that being said that's just gonna be another lord in the hands of burmese ghouls they're so far ahead and you know we've seen this time and time again for a lot of these teams right and they kind of have to pull out like just a 
a, a crazy defense and then like a miracle play to stay in this game. Even looking at the itemization here, right? You can see the disparity mm -hmm. in terms of the economy, especially in these, these crucial lanes. The fact that, hey, Cuffin picked up the Divine Glaive, great, right? He does have some of that penetration now, but really, even if you are able to whittle down some of the members of Burmese Ghouls as they approach the base, can, do you actually want to like go in and fight them? You know, unless this is the redemption arc for Morrow in this game. He's zero and five. He's had a very tough time, but if he can pull off a crazy, I'm offended. That might be what they need into the base if they can get Burmese Ghouls off, like on an off step here. That is true. They just need to get him into one tower to make a big play. And again, like I said, I like their defense. Right now, they're keeping Burmese Ghouls pushed back against their wall, even though they're, they are being pressured here. One tower down. Lord Stull? Okay. Full HP. Lord. Yeah, they're, they're going to take care of it, though. So, Lord taken care of. They lose the bottom turret. Still, oh, there goes oh. Marlon. I'm offended. Able to find the setup they're looking for. 7 is going to be down, though. Still going. Last insane to use, but on the backside, Stitch mm. goes in with a blazing duet. Able to find two down for Twisted Minds. Nico goes in with a flicker. They might still look to end it here. Still going to be working on the top side. But three members, Twisted Minds, alive and well. Delar Seal in play. trouble. Still going to be caught. Goes down finally. Mike, put him on the board. Twisted Minds is finally showing some life, but is it too late? Blink goes in once again. Oh. I'm offended. Going to be used. Still going to be whittled down. Mid lane, the focus here. Burmese Ghoul still working it. Finally get the top turret. But Twisted Minds still in the game. Stole the game. Uh, that is the breathing room they needed. I mean, again, they still have one tower left which is a good defense. I mean, could still be utilized when a Lord take is happening. The biggest thing that we are seeing here is that Burmese schools are missing two individuals and we are seeing Twisted Minds attempt to take back the land here. They're gonna be taking fourth into the river, take out this mid turret and take as much as they can. This is breathing room. This is breathing room. Burmese schools didn't want to give to Twisted Minds. And I think it just goes to show what you were saying earlier, Naisu, is that that one I'm offended Kinda, kinda took Burmese Ghouls by surprise. And now we are gonna see that breathing room that allows Sano to come online. Again, still missing two items on the carry, which is gonna be rough if they want to attempt to take this next uh, Lord or even contest it, as we can already see Stitch is four and three. If they could possibly pick off um, Stitch on Burmese Ghouls, they could have a good play here, but they have to keep in mind that Burmese Schools has that crazy backline dive. And with that being said, they just can't lose focus. Keep keep an eye on. I don't I think they need to contest this Lord here. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. I think given how everything there's hey, there's still eight thousand gold behind, by the way, right? But yeah, they kind of have to first they have to manage both those those top and bottom waves because the turrets are down. But it's like, do we actually want to compete for this Lord, right? Because if we give it up, we're most likely going to have a fully exposed base, and then we're going to have to work around that. Morrow does have that immortality available, though. But I'm not sure if they can actually come to this because they might just get Sandwich played in. So they're trying to get the vision available. Lord's going to be less than half health here, worked by Burmese Ghouls. And it looks like wow. they might just get the call, right? Let's back off. Conceal going to be used. Burmese Ghouls grabs another Lord. Yeah, I think that Twisted Minds is going to attempt one more defense here. And I mean, with them having one tower in the mid stool, I think they could mount a great defense. Kind of, we can already see that they're trying to do like a little bit of a cheeky mid bush play here on the left side. Might be able to catch someone off guard if they can catch a pick here. You can, I love what they're doing here. I don't know if they're just TPing or if they're preparing the recall just in case something gets sticky. If they can catch Stitch, I think it might be a good go. Man, if they can catch Stitch, like uh, that might be a, a, a part of it, right? But even Nico, yeah. man, Nico, 3 0 7. He's having an amazing game on this True. Nana pick that we've been talking about, even back from the draft. The, the ability to kind of just hang back, like you still have your passive, right? But just kind of hang back drop in the ultimate, pop some damage right on that path. And now, you know, kind of follow up through that. Lord, top side, they're gonna lose the mid turret here as it's worked on. Soxa leading Ooh. that front already. Look at the damage. Mike has to respect it. Holding on to the immortality though. So already base fully down. 
Oh. Morrow goes in into the Blazing Duet. Still going to be pushing four. Still, the damage is going to be there. Seven Oda going to be able to fall, though. Lord still up. Another shield down. Immortality's available. But Burmese Ghoul still looking to punch it in. Can't fin finish it just yet. Soxa jumps in. Blink not going to find the connection. Finally, the Immortality from Morrow is going to go down. Stitch got the stacks that he needed. He's running back in. Still going to be working on it. Couple of waves pushing in. Twisted Minds can stay in the game. Conceal going to come through. Last Insanity pushing him back. Still working on it. Now Blink in trouble. Twisted Minds, despite being down more than 10,000 gold, holding on, waiting for the full team to be in here again. Another way he's going to push. Morrow's going to be taken out of the picture now, though. Crystal's going to be worked on. Delar finds the stun. Mike trying to hold the waves back, but the Crystal's going to go down as Burmese Ghouls takes game one. Burmese Ghouls taking game type of jungle. It can get in, get out, and you have to utilize it like that, right? And I think from the side of Twisted Minds, having that utility jungle is going to keep Burmese uh, Ghouls at bay. Now, to response, I think Burmese Ghouls needs to press even harder against Twisted Minds because you can already see that the passive plays are happening from them, and they're just keeping uh, Burmese Ghoul at bay. Um, Economically, not too bad. Burmese Ghoul's keeping it up, um, as well as Swiss and Mines, even securing that first blood. Not too uh, much of an impact in the overall gold lead here. Um, oh, we see an engage. Okay. Yeah, as we jump in, Soxa, though, able to survive. Whoa, there's the pole, though. What? I'm offended. Going to find the connection they were looking for. Now uh -huh. going to be caught under the wall. Morrow's going to be the one to fall. Seven Oda going to be the next target. Goes in with the Brazer's Wrath. Still trying to hold on. Able to scoot on under the turret and will survive. That was a crazy trade. I mean, we, we lost it for a second when we came back, and it was just a <laughs> fight going for it. <laughs> it was like a rabbit being pulled out of a hat right there. We did, we were like, what's going <laughs> down? And then, bam, they hit us. And Burmese Ghouls showing Twisted Mind what they're bringing to the Land of Dawn here. Uh, it was that was that was a good go by Burmese Ghouls. And it just goes to show that they have a really solid front line. And oh, my God. I, wow. Mike was just taken out. Yeah, that was very quick. Again, KO'd. Laying things together. Yeah, getting getting KO'd there. Uh, but still, Burmese Ghoul's trying to find this lead that they can. Morrow going to go in with I'm offended. Nico, look at the damage. The burst is there as Nico's going to be the one to fall. And now it's a blink going to be the focus. The next target gets shattered down, but will be able to survive for now. Delar trying to help him out. Turtle's going to be up. Oh, Nico out of the picture. They have to carefully approach this. Mike, some uh, also their coffin in position. There we go. The uh, glaciers coming down, but I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get the position they were looking for. Delar now going to be working on it. There's the violent requiem. Oh! Turtle going to be screwed. Soxa, he's able to pull it through. Still going. Cuffin's going to be able to fall now. Seven Oda there jumps in. Wall's going to come down, but the flicker follows through. Delar looking for the kill on Mike. Gets dragged down. Back to it. Nico gets the kill, though. No one falls for Burmese ghouls. Two down for Twisted Minds. And I think they might want to take out Morrow here as well. Ooh. KO punches coming out. Able to secure the kill for Nico there. Burmese Ghoul's now showing that same aggression that we've seen in the last game. And I gotta give it up to him, right? That was crazy. The Black Dragon utilized by Twisted Minds was their key. They were attempting to try to zone out and instill fear into Burmese Ghoul's utilizing that Black Dragon. And it just wasn't there. They didn't give up the pressure. They were like, I don't care about that dragon in the sky. Bring it at me. <laughs> Utilize that Violet Requiem to set him up. And then not only utilizing that Spatial Migration to come in and hit the Retreat on the Turtle was just crazy from the side of Burmese Ghoul's. For Twisted Minds, once again, in this, uh, a position where they're finding themselves economically falling behind, right? This is tough. Big item pickups here, too, for Burmese Ghouls. Berserker's Fury there. And uh, also to deal with some of the sustainability for Twisted Minds already with the Halberd. So they're still going to be working on it. The resources are also going to be taken through here. Burmese Ghouls, when they have the lead, this is what they like to do, right? They like to continuously put the pressure here. Pay attention to Blink. A lot of the times he's going to be doing exactly what he has to with this Grok pick, and he will be decisive enough to use that wild charge when he needs to. There's the jump in, though. Morrow could be in trouble if they commit further. He's quite tanky himself, so right now, nothing but it's Twisted Minds holding on to the pressure. Conceal okay. play going to be used. Blink's still there, providing the vision with this Grok. Turret's going to fall, though. Tier 2 in the bottom lane. 
And there's nothing right now that Twisted Minds can do. Turtle's gonna spawn though. Yeah, I mean, Twisted Minds, they attempted to do what I was saying earlier on. Keep that passive play in mind uh, and, and try to secure some of the neutral objectives. But I do think they have lost, they, they kind of tunnel vision into that aspect and, and trying to figure out how to counter the aggressiveness of Burmese Ghouls is the, the play here for Twisted Minds. They're, they're being pushed back against that wall once again, being forced to mount up defenses. I like their play right here. They're tempted to try to take something. If they can't get the tur turtle, maybe we can take a tower. Oh, they might be able to get a pick here in the bottom lane. Oh, still gonna be working on it. That's Delar gonna be in trouble. Oh! Flickers out though, he's able to survive the one, two. Delar <laughs> survives despite a full on focus, plus the turtle taken for Burmese Ghouls. That, man, I thought they were gonna get a pick and a turret, but we do see Burmese oh. Ghouls clapping back. Clapping back, they do. They get a kill. They're happy about Burmese Ghouls furthering the lead they had. <laughs> Malefic Roar picked up by Stitch. The damage department's gonna hurt here. And right now, Twisted Minds backs completely against the wall under the 10 minute mark. It's a looking dire here. Still, Marl gonna jump in, oh. I'm offended. Still, the wild charge comes through too. It's a mega kill already for Nico. And Twisted Minds down the roamer, trying to hold on to these shields the best they can on these last turrets into the base. Yeah, I mean, you gotta give it up to Nico there. We see Morrow trying to come in to get a great eye offended. I'm offended sat and then Nico like, hold up. I'm I'm quite, off I I'm offended <laughs> that you just tried to uh, offend me. And then pulled back the clap there and that just allowed Burmese Ghouls to just keep scaling. The economic lead is definitely in the favor of Burmese Ghouls and Twisted Minds. What I think they're really lacking compared to last game is they just, I don't know if they have that defense that they can mount. Oh, once again, conceal play gonna be used. Mike gonna be the focus. Still surviving for now. Wild Ooh. charge goes through. Blink uh. gets the kill. What a play. Now Morrow gonna be in trouble. Goes in another flicker as Morrow falls. Two down under the turret of Twisted Minds. Still Burmese Ghouls unrelentless here as they assault parts of the base. Still working on the turrets though. Twisted Minds, what can they do? Trying to hold on here. 10,000 gold behind. The turret's gonna be worked on. Delar in position. The one, two punch. It is deadly, but they're gonna get the turret. They're happy with it. Might get the mid as well. Yeah, I think they're gonna take as much as they possibly can here just before they back off and take the Lord. Are they gonna act? So they're not even worried about the Lord. They're like, Go ahead and go solo that, Soxa. We'll keep them at bay. Keep them pressed against the wall. Maybe take another turret here. And Twisted Mind is trying to find a lead somewhere that they can stop Burmese Ghoul's pressure. And I think it's just tough, right? I feel, I feel like the Cuffin is gonna have to utilize that Frigid Glacier to do something. The Black Dragon also could be utilized to mount up a defense. Again, this is only the first Lord, so it's not enhanced, but Twisted Minds is wide open at this point. Uh, they're gonna have to. Gee, you this, know this what is, is enhanced right now? Burmese Ghouls. <laughs> <laughs> I think anybody can answer that right now. I mean, with this lead, man, it is deadly. And it's it's the same thing that happened in the previous game. And even more enhances Delar. Malefic Roar just picked up. Pressure is going to be here. They're holding on to this bottom turret. Yeah, it's the First Lord. But at this point, when you have this kind of lead, man, it's it, it's tough to deal with, right? They, Burmese Ghoul is completely controlling this pace just like they did in the previous game so now i'm going to be working for it lord in the mid lane twisted minds the work cut out for them they have to pull out some kind of miracle here if they can stay into it dragon form going to be popped delar on the bat side might be looking for his own entry point they're going to try to hold on the best they can clear the waves out Keep an eye Turret's on gonna be worked on. It's gonna be going. Saxon could be in trouble. Goes in. Wild charge. Not gonna find the connection they're looking for. Delar waiting patiently on the backside, looking for his own entry point. There Goes it is. in with a one-two punch. Gets a couple off. Has to flicker out though. Lord finally gonna get worked on. Taken down by Tristan Mind. Still holding on. Morrow though goes in with the. I'm offended. There's the glacier they're looking for, but they lose a couple bodies in the making. Cuffins next. 
Passive gonna be popping, he's gonna go Ooh. down. Now burn these ghouls, looking to take Twisted Minds out. Still working on the base, but they wanna get Mike. They take him out, and now it's only Sano. Base gonna be worked on, and burn these ghouls will sweep this series 2 0, sending Twisted Minds out. Sending Twisted Minds home. Burmese Ghouls showing that they are fierce competition in the Fidgetal game.